In this video, I'm going to show you how to download a already created work cell, whether it's from another person, from your instructor, and then open it up and make sure that the CAD files work the way that they're supposed to. So the first thing to do is to download the actual file. Usually it is a zip folder. So ours is going to be on Schoology under wherever the heading is, and you'll see it as a zip. For example, user frame setup cell one zip. Click it and then download it. It'll go to your downloads folder and then we're going to unzip the file. So we're going to go show in folder. Here's our folder. Right click on it. Uh, extract all. And we're going to extract this. All the things that we need in order to open up this cell. So if I open this, you'll see that there's a couple different things. Mainly there is going to be the pointer. There's also should be uh, different tools inside here as well. Um, so I'm going to go to user frame setup one when I open it through RoboGuide. So if I go to RoboGuide and I go open cell and I'm going to go to that file inside here and then you'll see the real rule guide mate or material handling work cell we're going to click this icon right here and then we're going to hit open And now our cell is open and the startup screen you'll see the cell now being used. So now this cell has just squares or rectangles being created inside of this. Now this has been created inside this cell so it's not actual CAD files that need to come with the package. I'm going to download another file or zip folder that does have CAD files and then I'll show you the difference between them. So this zip file has actual CAD files that were created in Inventor, exported as an object file, and then imported into RoboGuide as an actual fixture. So if I click this and I download this, show in folder, unzip, so we extract it and go inside here and notice how each one of these has a circle group, oval group, oval group, and they have all the CAD files inside of this folder. If you do not have the CAD files, there's going to be a lot of errors that pop up inside the actual work folder. So you always have to make sure when you export your file that you add all the CAD files in here so that you can reference to them on a different computer. So I'm going to close that out. I'm going to open up RoboGuide. And notice how we have our user frame set up that we just did previous. So I'm going to go open cell. And I'm going to go back to my downloads and open up my programming instructions packaged. And then here's my program one. Open. Allow it to open. There we go, now it's open. So if you notice that one of these items did not load, what you can do is just double click the item that didn't load, just like example circle group here. And right here is the CAD file. So this is where it's locating it. So if I go to the folder here, you'll notice that it's actually pulling from my documents and that's where I have it saved. So if it's not finding it, what you need to do is you need to find the folder in which everything is saved in so I go to program motion instructions and then here's all the files okay so I want the circle group and and you could do that for each one of them and if I go to the oval group notice how I'm picking the CSB file that so that's the RoboGuides conversion of the object file so you can put an object file in there it will work but you probably want to put in the actual one that RoboGuide automatically converts for you and if I hit apply, okay, and now that one is saved. And notice how nothing changes. The scaling doesn't change, the size doesn't change of it, or the coloring, because you're pulling in the exact same thing that you use from the previous file. So if you ever notice that these are missing, or if you get an error when you pull in the work cell, all you have to do is relink these to the same exact folder you pulled the cell from, and then they'll come back up. Now if you created a cell and you want to send it to somebody else to work with, it's pretty simple to export. All you do is you go up to File, Package Cell, 
and then go to cell program number one. And then it's going to package. It's going to ask you where do you want to save it. I'm going to just save mine to the desktop. And then it says package complete to the folder, blah, 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 blah. Hit OK. And then if I go to my desktop, here's my program one package. So I double click it. And you'll notice it does have the CSB files of each of these squares circles ovals now i always put in the original files as well before i send it off to be packaged now if you're sending this via email you can't email a file okay? you would have to upload it to a drive and then download it so on so on so on so the best way to package this is to actually zip it here's how you zip right click new compressed folder call it what it is There we go. And then you drop that file into that zip folder, and now it's in there. So now I have my FANUC. It copied that file in there, and this is the file that I send to somebody so that they can unzip it, and then they can open it up, and then they'll have the program one packaged, and it has all the files. Now, again, I strongly encourage you to put all the CAD files in this folder just in case uh, things become unlinked. So that is importing and exporting your work cells.